वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग सम ऑफ द बेजिक अबाउट माइक्रोमीटर इट्स एप्लीकेशन हाउ इट विल बी यूटिलाइज इन द फील्ड ऑफ द मेट्रोलॉजी सो लेट अ स्टार्ट विद सम ऑफ द बेजिक्स अबाउट इट सो दिस इज द बेजिक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोमीटर so just you can see starting with the frame so you say frame it will be utilized for the measurement and that will be having a fixed anvil and another it will be a spindle so into a u shape frame it will be in built facility with the adjustment with anvil and a spindle and according to the different shape and size of the job is to be adjusted so this n wheel positions it will be fixed and according to the change into dimensions of an any object the spindle it will be moving so these spindles it will be directly connected with a barrel so onto the barrel it will be having a main scale graduations or you can say main scale readings so this barrel it will be interconnected with a thimble with an auxiliary scales so here it will be a cylindrical scale or cancer cylindrical auxiliary scale and finally and to the another side it will be the ratchet so that will be providing the constant pressure during the measurements and after it will be adjusting with the anvil and the spindle according to my shape and size of the jobs this lock nut it will be used for locking of this extreme positions and then after reading is to be taken so let's see this device it will be very much useful device for magnifying the small measurements and this is the most accurate measuring instrument in the field of the linear measurements so the accurate screw and nut are used for the measurements so in simple way the principle of these micrometers it will be works on to the screw and nut mechanisms then after the in detail principles just you can see micrometer works on to the principle of the screw and nut that i already told you the screw is attached to concentric cylinder or you can say thimble so this is my thimble and a screw is turned through the nut by one revolution so its axial moment is equal to the pitch of the thread of the screw so in that case it will be the one pitch is there because the one rotation so it will be traveling the one pitch of the distance so that will be the single start thread is being used for manufacturing of that particular instruments then important thing least count of micrometer so let's see this is the basic arrangement of the main scale and a one near scale or you can say auxiliary scale so according to the positioning of the main scale and a auxiliary scales just you can see this is the one of the positions according to my job suppose i want to calculate the least count for this so the value of the smallest division onto a main scale so just you can see that will be the main scale and the minimum divisions it will be a 0.5 mm and secondly divided by number of divisions onto a auxiliary scale so that will be 50 so here that will be 0 here that will be 45 and this is my number so it will be 50 number so finally least count that will be equal to 0.5 divided by 50 so that will be representing as a 0.01 mm so this is the value and it will be the minimum measurement it will be measuring by a micrometer so just you can see this is the one of the figures it will be representing the range of the measurements so 0 to 25 mm so this is my actual micrometers it will be presenting over here so anvil spindle then sleeve with a main scale and this is my thimble with a rotating vernier scale and here that will be the ratchet knobs 
then after just you can see the internal view of the basically micrometers and this is only for a range between a 25 to 50 mm so quite similar just you can see this is my u shape fix and wheel spindle barrel this is the screw thimble so main nut it will be onto that screw so according to its extreme positions of the fix and spindle so here this is the distance because this micrometer it will be having a range around 25 to 50 mm so this representing the sectional view of external micrometer and showing the wheel adjustment spindle locking arrangement and the mechanisms of the ratchet stops so this is the basics about the internal views of micrometer for a 25 to 50 mm now this is the methodology for taking a readings so you should hold this instrument into the two hands so this is my zero zero positions once the spindle it will be touched with the spindles with the minimum pressure it will be applied with a ratchet and if you find this main scale and this circular scale it will be into the zero zero positions so that will be taking a zero readings if you find some readings either it will be subtract or additions according to its positions from your final reading but in this case it will be the zero zero reading now important things this is the graduations onto the main scale and this is my circular scale so the minimum distance that will be the 1 mm so here onto the above side that will be the graduations into the interval of the 0.5 mm then after just you can see how it will be working so now i will take a one cylinder whose diameter is to be measured so according to the standard practice of the aligning of this object between the anvil and the spindles so according to its diameter because this is my linear measurements so it will be having a some main scale reading and the matching number onto a circular scale or can say auxiliary scale and the least count so the final readings that will be depends onto a main scale reading plus least count into a matching number so let us see this is my reference line and this is my indicating onto the main scale reading and onto the thimble or you can say onto your circular scale that will be the 35 number so what happens just you can see so the total readings that will be representing as a main scale reading plus least count of this instrument into the reading onto the thimble or circular scale so what happens just you can see here that will be the 10 so 11 12 and 13 number is passed so 13 plus the least count of this instrument we already calculate so 0 0.01 mm and this is from the thimble readings or circular scale so 35 so multiply by 35 so final readings that will be representing for this object it will be 13.35 mm so this instrument it will be accurate as compared with the vernier calipers because into the vernier calipers we already learned in my previous video that will be representing the least count as a 0.02 mm but here it will be the 0.01 mm so this is the more accurate instruments as compared to the vernier calipers then inside micrometers just you can see this is the constructions fixed jaw movable jaw and similar kind of that at a barrel and thimble so for measuring the depth you can also use such kind of micrometers but in general terms of these measurements it will be depends upon the screw and nut principles so you should take care about the main scale reading from the barrel scale and uh, from circular scale or you can say thimble scale it will be your auxiliary scale reading 
and all that instruments I think it will be having a least count around 0 0.01 mm so this is for the depth measurements so these all instruments are working onto the same principles so if you want to measuring the depth of any kind of cylinder or you can say components so that will be utilized so same kind of concept is this works onto the screw and nut principles then important things the something new is there and it will be the one year micrometer so combination of both the things so that will be also increasing the accuracy of these instruments so just you can see this is the main scale onto the barrel and as well as just you can see here it will be the one year scale right so both the scale onto the main line so how it will be works just you can see the one year scale is marked onto the barrel so there are 10 divisions on barrel and this is equivalent to the nine divisions onto the thimble right so here that is the main scale one year scale as well as the thimble is there or you can say circular scale so how that will be calculated the readings so the divisions onto the one year scale that will be equal to ninth oblique tenth of that thimble because the divisions onto the barrel and this is equivalent to the nine divisions onto the thimble so nine by ten so the one divisions onto the thimble that will be equal to 0 0.01 mm so one division of the one year scale two so nine by ten into 0 0.01 so finally just you can see that will be equal to 0 0.009 mm so least count for vernier micrometer is calculated as the value of smallest division onto the thimble minus value of smallest division onto the vernier scale so just you can see that will be the 0 0.01 minus 0 0.009 so in that case of the one year micrometer it will be having a least count around 0 0.001 mm so that will be much better than the micrometer also so this is the observations just you can see main scale onto the above side 0 to 10 graduations for a vernier scale and on to the thimble or you can say circular scale or auxiliary scale so this is my reference line so how you will take a readings just you can see the main scale readings so i think it will be the 10 number 11 and half of that so 11.5 mm from a main scale reading then secondly thimble readings so the thimble division coincide with the reference line into the least count so if you observe this so i think 10 11 and something like 12 so the 12 number divisions that would be coincide with the reference lines so 12 into least count of thimble and that will be 0 0.01 according to the micrometer so thimble readings that will be 0.12 mm and now for vernier readings so vernier division coincide with the reference scale into least count of vernier so just you can see here that will be the six number is matching with the coincide with the reference line so six into the discount of the one year that will be 0 0.001 so 0 0.006 mm so from these instruments the final readings it will be becoming as under so main scale readings that will be 11.5 plus thimble readings so it will be 0.12 mm and one year readings that will be 0 0.006 mm so finally you will get 11.626 mm so 
if vernier line coincides with a reference line is zero then no vernier reading is added to the final readings this is the important things you should note down for this instruments so i hope you understand this basics if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep